I just this about the way that yeah, leg is a mental test case. Let's just talk about documents, for example. Documents. For anything to get into court, it has to have authenticity. It has to have certain indicia of reliability. Sure. In other words, it has to have foundation. That's what we call it. And we're going to put these documents up, and I'm going to go through them a little bit and tell you what I notice off the bat. First, this is not uh, – this is a cut-and-paste job. This is um, – I mean, you can see it's edited, so they, it, it, like I'm looking at one, it says Emma, okay. Emma Gabby talking to her family. Oh, and then you look at every single one of these messages, and, and what this looks like are, they look like text messages from WhatsApp. And every single one of them had the exact same time, 10.42 and 29 seconds. That's spamming. That's Jeez. concerning. But then you look at, you know, you've got certain things that are blurred out, you can see the on Twitter. What they are. So, right off the bat, you can tell these documents are not in their native format, right? So, they've been altered. So, that's one issue. And let me tell you something. If I had. If yeah, yeah, talk any of these documents were like this that inculpated uh, Andrew Tate, in other words, led to his guilt, or they were using. All you guys who are, um, you know, eating Cheetos in your mother's basement. Would say, oh no, uh, way, man! It, it's a setup, you know. Uh, you can't use that because it's not reliable and whatever. But let's just, for the sake of this exercise, let's just say that these are legitimate, okay? And maybe, yeah. maybe they are. That's good. Yeah. They are not. Well, let's go through them. Look, I know you don't believe I can handle this, but I can. I'm not so concerned. Tristan doesn't really care if I leave uh, going. Because we made uh, uh, the zoom in on this one. We are in love. I think we will run back. The main concerns are coming from the girls uh, are saying a uh, lot to explain. We'll be out of here fine. I don't think care that much if we leave anyways, which is why I feel okay. Now, now if you remember in one of my prior episodes, I said if you're going to defend this case, one of the first things you have to do is shed doubt on the credibility of the witnesses who are the accusers, right? And that's exactly what this is designed to do. So one of the things that you have to look at in a sex trafficking case is some kind of force, fraud, or coercion. And and if somebody to stay with you, you know, that's the you know part of the kidnapping, part of the you know, the coercion that goes on. But you None of this sheds any light on the fact that he's scamming them out of at least twenty percent of their revenue, right? And that's the fraud part. So I will make the I will make the call and do the right thing in this situation. Uh, right now, we both want to be in London. So they're both talking about wanting to be somewhere else. I don't think they care if we leave, but we want to run back. So she's yeah, on the way or something. To the voice message. Why? Why have all the American embassies are on alert? Uh, you are causing major upheaval because the Marines and all the American squad is on the go now. Fuck it, Emma. Fuck it. Whatever that means. Um, you called. I didn't. I want to leave. I want to leave to London. You called. Uh, that's that's on you. Tell them uh, to come Tuesday when we leave. And then they can see everything. If you stop me from going to London, expect me to disappear. I want to go to London. How dare you put me in danger like that? You called, not me. Go to hell, Emma. Uh, with your arrogance and your ignorance and bullshit, uh, go uh, Wap Wap Land or what? Bangkok or Bora Bora. Who is stopping what? What? you? The whole American embassy is on alert. Where is that? You. That's your fault. You know, so it, there's really nothing in this on this page of Texas except for the fact that you know, saying thing. that we think we can leave. I want to go to London. You know, and so now let's go on to the second page of the, of the post. Now, the, now these are all back in like April of 2022. This isn't; these are not recent. You're a good actress, true. Yeah, I practice friend. perfecto. Oh, what? Just playing it cool. Got it. Uh, like you don't know anything. Play dumb. I'm going to pull some tears out, Aliona, and play dumb. Good advice. Thank you, babe. So you got them, kind of rehearsing or whatever. We are good though. We need a fucking Oscar. Let's go. Uh, let's just go play it cool and change my name. That so was Oscar, huh? with, uh, LOL. Got it. Yeah, 
I told you to be like saying a nice message and that we are hurt or shit and that we we do love them but just don't like the situation. So they will not think they are really against them, you know. You know what you know what victims of sexual assault or domestic assault or victims of this kind of stuff do? They assimilate. And they do whatever they have to to appease their captors, for lack of a better word. So they will not really think we are against them. Why would they be against them? What's in it for them to be against them? Freedom? Uh, yeah, that's smart. Play the victim. I mean, I mean, we are, but like, yeah, act like we still love them and stuff. So play the victim. Uh, yeah, victim. I mean, we are, but act like we still love them and stuff. So in other words, you know, play along so they don't know exactly what we're doing. Ha ha. I, I mean, we are. And wait. Uh, what? What? Uh, tomorrow we should wear makeup and sunglasses, and nobody really notices what we look like or who we are. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Okay. LOL. We are writing a movie ASAP. Lol. Yep. So, when I talked initially about this, I said the only way to really defend this is to essentially destroy the credibility of the accusers, right? And that's what this is designed to do. But what does this shed light on? Nothing. Nothing. I, I mean, Nothing. first of all, without some verification, this doesn't come into court. Uh, you have to have foundation to get it. But even if it does get in, the women would have to testify, and then they'd, they'd be able to put all these things into context. And what I see here, just my trained eye, is I see people who don't have the means to get where they need to go and doing whatever they can to try to escape. That's what I see. Tate has on. He, I mean, he's on a on a public relations. Uh, to escape from so you remember he, he had the human rights lawyer, you know, uh, all over the, the different programs. He's now said he's going to uh, start a charity with a hundred million dollars dedicated to those who are falsely accused. Well, let me just tell you something. I'll stand in line for that uh, hundred million dollars, and I will be the first person to represent anybody that's falsely accused. Um, so, Andrew, let's get the legal defense fund set up because I'd be happy mm. to do that and I'll go anywhere in the world to do that. It's nice. Because I love defending people who are actually wrongfully accused. But the one thing that this doesn't do is sheds no light on the self-snitching bullshit that, he, that he's talked about in the videos that we posted before. And so, what he has already said in his videos, how he had his operation. You know, to be sex trafficking doesn't mean that they have to be in dungeons and chains. You can restrict somebody of their movement with psychological mm. torture. Coercion. You can keep somebody there with financial pressure. I'll, I'll give you an example. Mm. I tried a case people. a while back, and the only issue was forced fraud or coercion. These women were coming over to the United States from Thailand. They, um, they were making a lot of money, but they had a dowry they had to pay. So they're traffickers over in Thailand. You know, they got them fake IDs, they got them fake passports, and they came over here, but they owed them like 60 or 80 grand a piece. And so yes, they not. couldn't move on to go do what they were doing freely as prostitutes until that 80 grand was paid off, okay? That is a form of coercion. When you have these women who are being defrauded out of 20% of their revenues, telling them it would be this, but I'm paying taxes, and he's not paying taxes, lying. that's fraud. You know, if they believe he's paying taxes on their behalf, and that's where that money's going, that is fraud, and for a sexual purpose. So you don't have to just be in a dungeon, you know, and, you know, with the whips and chains. I mean, it doesn't work like that. That's not how sex trafficking works today. So, you know... He's on his public relations blitz, and you know he just put out this treat. I think this is just priceless. There are two possible futures to the universe. One, they kill me. Two, I emerge as one of the most respected and influential men on the planet. Most respected. False persecution. I ask nice. my enemies to make a choice. I will stay awake tonight, prepared for mortal combat. What? <laughs> A little Good drink, don't you think? I mean, Mortal Kombat for what? 
For what? I mean, it's kind of funny. Taxes. You know, this does nothing. This doesn't prove a damn thing. All it proves, and in fact, it actually, some of it supports the fact that they're trying to leave, that they don't have the means, that, that they're going to get hemmed up at an embassy because it's on alert for them, that, um, that they are victims. And then, and, then what, and then what are they doing? They are assimilating. They're trying to make their captors believe that they are in love with them. And they're going along to get along. You know, so it's also been said that the authorities have this, this information and are not giving it to the court. Well, clearly the Tate brothers have it. Their defense team has it. They haven't shown it to the court until now. But there is, there is and, uh, there's another duty that prosecutors have. It's called Maryland. They have a duty to disclose um, material that is favorable to the defense. So, it, so if these are, in fact, exculpatory, and, and my guess is that there's a ton more of these, uh, it, they ha and when they say exculpatory, that's evidence that makes you, that's favorable to the defense. Uh, inculpatory means makes you find guilty, exculpatory the other way around. So if they yeah. aren't turning over, them, that's, a, that's problematic for the defense. New words. Because you're not getting the full picture. The judge is not getting the full picture, especially when he talks about detention. So my hope is that very soon uh, we get a charging decision by the prosecutorial body in Romania. Because t to be sitting there without charges is, I just mm -hmm. think, a mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. human rights. Because, you know, we, we, we don't buy that in our country. I mean, you don't, we don't have preventative detention mm -hmm. in the United States. Mm -hmm. so. I, and I know there are some countries that do, like France. Mm -hmm. Still, I guess. I just think it's, I think it's absolutely wrong to have an investigative detention because you're sitting there you can't defend yourself you don't know what's going on and and they don't have to share anything with you while this is while this is pending so this was just our little uh, uh, reaction to the wiretaps the uh, they're not which they're not wiretaps but it, it, it'll be interesting to find out exactly where these came from and and how they were created because these are not in their native format so Andrew Tate as I predicted, is attacking the credibility of the accusers in this case, which is what you got to do. And so we'll keep following this. We'll see you probably yeah. in another 30 days on the issue of detention because the prosecutor will seek probably another 30 days. And uh, appreciate you yeah, this is ending. watching us. Yeah, speak a bit of, I guess. Yes, another video release. Let's watch that too. I'm going to be doing it for now.